Okay, Radio uh, Learners, I'm going to sh share with you some insights that is quite critical and important for you in engineering, graphics, and design. So can I help you out? Yes. Let's have a look here, and let's start by understanding scale drawings. Okay, so if I would have this eraser, is this the actual size of the eraser? If I hold it in my hand, is that the actual size of it? Okay, and if I would draw this according to its actual size, would you think that would be a good, good indication of how it really, really looks? All right, and so when something is drawn exactly the same size as the actual object, it is drawn to scale one to one. Okay, wanneer ons iets teken wat diezelfde grootte is als die eindige voorwerp, is die skaal, skaal 1 tot 1. So I'm going to write in here, scale 1 to 1. Right, our eraser is a good example. Now, just quickly, the, the height here is 60, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if I would draw it scale 1 to 2, that would mean I would draw it half the scale of its original, okay? And so... If my height here was 60, now it's going to be 30. So I've measured that before the time, because I just want to help you out here. So the height now would be 30 instead of 60. The width was 24. That width now becomes 12. So what I'm drawing here is half the scale of the original. So this year would be scale 1, 2, 2. Half the scale. Yes or no? If I would draw the scale 2 to 1, in other words, it will be double the size. That 60 now becomes 120. Okay. And the width that was 24 becomes 48. And so it's going to look something like this. All right. This scale is 2 to 1. Meaning, it is twice the size of the original. This drawing is exactly the same as the original. This scale, it's half the size of the original. Yes or no? Yes, right. That's the simplicity of scale drawings. Okay? I want to add one more thing here. And if you understand it now, it's going to be key. If I would measure this, or if I would give the measurements to this, what would it be here in my height? It will be 60. Right. If I do a measurement for this one, I'm just doing it quickly for you here. If I would do a measurement here, I know I've drawn it now 120. But what will be the measurement here? Still 60. People, it is the biggest mistake learners make. They change this measurement to read 120. Remember, the scale determines the size. The measurement never changes. It is still a 60 eraser. The original is still 60. That one there represents this one. Okay? So this one, what would its measurement be? If I would have a measurement here, it's now scale 1 to 2. It's half the scale. This measurement will also read 60. So the measurement never changes. The dimension never changes. It's the actual drawing size that changes. Happy? That is how you absolutely smack scale drawings. Keep this in mind and you can apply it to any other scale uh, in future. Thank you for watching.